Hello everyone, this is Kamal with you. Hope you are safe and sound. Today's video I am going to talk about an overview of SWOT analysis and also how to conduct a SWOT analysis for a business or a product. Alright, so now a question comes in your mind, what is SWOT analysis? Those whom this topic is new. SWOT analysis is a business tools, techniques or framework which analyze strength, weakness, opportunities and threats of a company or a product in order to develop a business strategy or decisions. Here, strength and weaknesses are to be considered as an internal factor which a company can control or influence directly. On the other hand, opportunities and threats are external factor where a company either utilize the opportunities or adjust their plan or policies to minimize losses or damage from threats. Alright, now I am going to talk about strength. Uh, you might be thinking, what is a strength? Here, strength means what a company can do very well or better than others. In other words, strength is the unique competencies and capabilities of a specific company. Besides, strength can be something which gives competitive advantage to a particular company. Let me give you an example. Tesla can produce high quality electric cars than other automobiles company. Here, Tesla can consider its product quality as a strength. Let me give you another example to make this topic more understandable. Have you heard about Zara Fashion Retailer, which sells clothes, shoes, beauty products, and other accessories? Do you know that Zara delivers its product to its retail outlet twice in a week? Besides, it takes less than two weeks time to deliver a new product from its design stage to retail outlets. Therefore, we can say that Zara has a strong supply chain management, which is its strength. Dear viewers, you can see a list of strength on the screen, which you might consider while you are doing your assignment or research paper. Dear viewers, let's move to weakness. You might be thinking, what is weakness? Here, weakness means poor performance in operation and functions of a company, where it can improve by taking action plan. Uh, let me give you an example. Have you heard about Uber Taxi, which has been criticized for its safety and security of female customers and also misbehavior of its partner drivers. Here, Uber can take some initiatives to overcome this. In this case, Uber can consider some action plan. It can introduce training program for its partner driver how to behave with customer it can install small cameras on Uber taxis. Besides, it can introduce strict punishment policy for its partner drivers. Weaknesses can be lacking of something. Say for example, lacking of market experience. It can be weakness for a particular company. Furthermore, Weaknesses can be difficulties which a company facing in its internal value chain. Say for example, lack of discipline among employees or a poor communication system among internal departments. These can be weaknesses for a company. Dear viewers, you can see a list of weaknesses on screen.
which you might consider while you are doing your assignment or research project. Dear viewers, let's move on next topic, opportunities. Here opportunity means any chances comes from outside the company which affect its functions and operations positively. Here, the researcher or student must consider what changes happening at external environmental factors at present and in future. After identifying the opportunities, the company must utilize these for their own benefit. Let me give you an example. UK government has introduced a new law that electric cars don't have to pay road tax. Here, this law can increase sales of electric cars. Thus, this new law can create opportunities for electric cars automobile companies. Dear viewers, you can see a list of opportunities on the screen which you may consider while you are doing your assignment or research. Dear viewers, the next topic is threats. Here, threat means anything comes from outside the company which negatively affect a business. Say for example, political strike or transportation strike, which can cause of disruption or normal business operation for a company. Another example can be natural disaster like flood or heavy snowfall. Because of heavy snowfall, some businesses cannot operate normally and face losses. Another good example can be COVID-19 pandemic situation. Thousands of people are dying and affecting every day. As a result of pandemic, most of the countries are going through national lockdown. Consequently, some businesses are closing their stores permanently and some of them are became bankrupt. Say for example, Debenhams Superstore and Cafe Roll are closing their some of his stores permanently. Let me give you another example. All right. When Uber started its business operation, there was a few number of competitors and it became popular quickly. Now, there are a number of competitors. So because of this, they may lose their market share, such as Ula, Edison Lee, Lyft, My Taxi, Local Taxi Service, Get, Cavity, Free Now. The growing number of competitors can be um, threats for a company. Dear viewers, you can see a list of threats on the screen which you might consider while you are doing your assignment and research paper. That's the end of this video. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.